I have an important message for dealer principals, general managers, or corporate executives for dealerships or dealer groups. It is Franklin Covey and the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It is one of the most prolific books, non-fiction, non-religious, that's ever been written, and the author is Dr. Stephen R. Covey. He's also the founder of the Franklin Covey Organization. He wrote the most incredible book on the seven habits of highly effective people. It is so prolific, there is over 45 million copies of the book sold. In addition to that, over 80% of all Fortune 100 and Fortune 500 corporations put their executive team through the seven habits of high effective people. I am proud and honored to say that me and my wife are actually certified trainers and facilitators of the Franklin Covey's official curriculum for the seven habits of highly effective people. Now, we went through years and years of training, and we had the honor to actually train with Dr. Steve. Stephen R. Covey. Unfortunately, Dr. Covey passed away in 2012, but one of my most proudest accomplishments is being a Franklin Covey certified trainer and facilitator. In addition to that, it's, it's being able to have trained under Dr. Stephen Covey directly. That's like learning from Batman or Bruce Wayne if I'm a superhero, like it's mind blowing. This is one of my heroes right here, Dr. Stephen Covey, uh, the author of Seven Habits of High Effective People. Just your answer. And I'm super excited to give you guys a peek inside of one of our Franklin Covey workshops that me and Karen present to. So today we're going to actually be meeting with the dealer principal of a two rooftop dealer group in Pennsylvania. We're not only training the dealer principal, but his three sons. He came to us saying that he wanted high level executive management and leadership training because he wants to turn his dealer group over to his three sons. And I said without skipping a beat, listen, as a father to father, as a multimillionaire entrepreneur to another multimillionaire entrepreneur, I am telling you right now, one of the best things that you could do for your family is give them the certification for the seven habits of highly effective people. And man, we had an incredible full eight hour day on site, blew their minds, and I can't wait for you to listen to their own testimonial, their own review of this curriculum. Don't take my word for it. Let's listen to what they have to say. Hey everybody, this is Sean V. Bradley and... Aaron Bradley. Okay, and we are going to a dealer group today and they are doing something special today. Can I tell the people what they're doing today? They're doing Franklin Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People training. You know what's really awesome is the fact that we have been partnered with the Franklin Covey organization for almost two decades. You know, it's pretty crazy that we're certified both in the seven habits of highly effective people and the five choices of extraordinary productivity. He is bringing us in to train his two sons and his elite executive management team. So he wants to pass the organization on to his sons. Tell them why. What, why do organizations get value from this curriculum? What can a dealership or dealer group or a multi-million dollar business really gain from this type of curriculum? So it definitely grows each person's level of thinking and you can create a culture of the seven habits. And when you're able to do that, your communication is better, your relationships are better, your, again, like level of thinking is better, your work-life balance is better, just, you know, you're just building better people at the organization. It cripples certain people. It, it really stops people from being successful or effective and they're wasting a ton of time on things they absolutely cannot control. So reactive language releases stress producing hormones and neurotransmitters in your brain, damaging your ability to think and to make decisions. What Covey says is we focus more on the things that we can influence, right? And less on the things that we don't, we're gonna be more effective and more successful. You have control of your thoughts. You've got control of your behaviors. That's the only thing that you've got control over. Everything else is a delusion, illusion, or hope, wishful thinking. Saying, I choose to, right? So instead of saying, oh, I, I can't have that donut. 
oh, I choose not to have that donut. Do you know how empowering that is? Yeah. I can't sound like a deprivation where you're saying I choose to is empowering you and making you feel like, you know what, I could if I want to, however, I'm choosing not to eat that donut. If you're a leader that's using the reactive ones, like, oh, I can't, we have no options. I mean, who wants to, to follow that, right? where you can inspire and create that energy just by choosing to use these specific words in this language. Would it help for them each to see Sunday nights, what they, each one has going on yes. for the week, and that way they can sync better, you guys can sync better for the week in a whole to get accomplished. And that, that way you know what Jake's rolling with this week, he knows with you, and then you might say to him, Oh, that's really not that I think you're right. Maybe I can help you with, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So Jim, you are the dealer principal of a two rooftop dealer group in Pennsylvania, very successful. And you just brought in dealer synergy for me and, and Karina here for the seven habits of highly effective people. Can you just kind of tell us like, this is unique training for a car dealer. So what excited you about bringing us in for the seven habits course? You know, I can get training from anywhere for anything. And me and you had a conversation. I share my what my heart was with my sons, and uh, I wanted them to have some leadership training, some life skills, really, that not only they could apply to our business, but to their personal lives as men and as husbands and leaders here at the store. And you knew exactly what I needed in the program, described it to me, and I said, that sounds kind of a great place to start. And so we were super excited. We had a great day today. And we learn a ton. We can't wait to start implementing it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to start with you, Jim. What what really spoke to your heart today, or were, were you really excited about for you to learn and for your your, your sons to learn? What, what what resonated with you the most? Just seeing that there, there's a bigger picture than our success here at the stores or here at the business. There's a more of a personal, a whole, you know, by working the seven habits of highly effective people, if you if you work this process, you can be more, more whole. I mean, it's physically, I think spiritually, and I think relationships, you know, ships with your spouse or people that you love, and uh, and we can teach and train and, and, and help others. Yes with this knowledge. Now, what about for you guys? You're young, you know what I mean? You're gonna kind of pick up where, not where your dad left off, but it's like, almost like a relay race. I mean, he he's built all this stuff and tag you're in. So let's just start. What did you get out of today? What would you say? I think learning how to plan my week and making sure that I optimize my time to allow myself to complete my task, but also allowing other people to ask, interrupt me and ask me, you know, having time set aside for that. So that's what I So think. you like the third habit, which is put first things first, be careful of distractions, skies, and opportunities. What did you think about the time matrix, those quadrants? Did it, did it help you understand and respect time a lot more? Yeah, I think especially during having designated times where I can just black out and really just work on what I need to work on and then having those designated times for people to interrupt me and just ask me whatever is going to, you know, help my day and help my week, you know, function better. Absolutely. And and then I'm going to ask you the same question. What did you get out of today uh, that you can apply towards your career and just your future in and outside the, the dealership? Uh, I think the biggest thing was always asking questions. There's never enough knowledge you can learn. You can always learn more. And one thing I learned today is that delegating what somebody else is good at, being that there's four of us working here, that there's four things that we're all really great at. We can all be aware of them, but to delegate so that we are all performing at the best. Can yeah. do whatever we can. And for the record, there's a lot more than four. Do you mean four, yeah. uh, four family members? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 for yeah, sure, yeah. for sure. So listen, I love it. So you guys, would you say you got value out of today? Yeah. Okay, cool. So Kara, as the pretty much project lead on this, when you come into an organization like a dealership and a family situation like this, what are you looking to teach them and, and hope that they get out of this and, and, and tie that into what today was for you working with them? So one of the things we do start off with is the assessment. So they're able to do a self-assessment to identify which of the habits they are the weakest in. So I really like to take that information. One of the things that came up across the board, I believe, was 
put first things first, habit number three, which is why I made sure to elaborate and spend a little bit more time there with them. I gotta say that I was really proud of their participation because yes. as car people have ADD, you talk about some of you guys have that too, and it's it's the new month, we're still closing out you know, July, and here you are in a room all day long, you know, and, and that, first of all, you deserve a sticker for being able to stay exactly. you know, in here <laughs> and, and, and dialed in, so. Um, a lot of times it's bigger groups, so the pressure isn't on everyone individually because you have different people that are taking the leadership role and answering questions and things like that. But today they had to answer everything together. So now as we close this out, what are your final instructions to them for them to take all this and, and, and evolve? What is So your... you mentioned it earlier and I don't think you got to tell Jim, but the whole information without application is just information, right? right? But information with application equals trans transformation. So as much as you learn today, it can go in one ear and out the other. If you don't apply it to what you're doing, and we talked about the 21 days, it takes approximately 21 days to make or break a habit. So being able to utilize the habits according to the 21 day contract is really gonna make everything stick. So that's what I recommend. Absolutely. Well, listen, it was a pleasure to be able to share with you guys this experience. We look forward to sharing your success. Thank you for having us here today.